1984, uh, that the name of the missile was given as Akash. In the beginning, it was only a medium range surface to air missile system. So, radar has to be customized, specially made. So, it should have a lot of beam agility. It's called beam agility. The electronic beam should be switching tuck, 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 left, right, up, down at a very, very fast speed so that you don't miss any target. Then I was very young at the time. I was a little scared. See, well, can I handle the responsibility? Because this project out of the four missile projects was the taking maximum time, nearly 15 years, and also here maximum fund allocation. See, the thing is because air defense, the target is an aircraft. And aircraft is flying, maneuvering, and also it carries, you know, electronic warfare, Here for 10 it took 15 years. Uh, for 10 years we were doing research and development. Last three years we did testing. Then we asked the Army and Air Force to come for a flight testing. That's how it, it took place. One is, uh, you know, we were all young people. We were, most of us uh, are below 30, number one. Young power, youth power. Number two is uh, the, the Air Force and Army told it should be a multi-target handling surface to air missile system. See, it was a program got initiated in 1983 and I was a scientist, a junior scientist there in a lab called DRDL in Hyderabad and Dr. Abdul Kalam was the director of my lab. So I used to work with him for uh, mathematical modeling, some testing and things like that. I used to frequently interact with uh, Dr. Kalam for that. So, when the project sanction, I was working with him. And uh, I remember I prepared, I, uh, when uh, he said, uh, what is your view of a surface to air missile system? I created a chart and showed him. He was quite satisfied the way I conceived it. So, that was 83. And in 1984, uh, that sub the name of the missile was given as Akash. In the beginning, it was only a medium range surface to air missile system. So, it was given our first name. Yeah. So, I was uh, called uh, project director in 1984. 84, mm. I was called project director. Then I was very young at the time. I was a little scared. See, well, uh, can I handle the responsibility? Because this project out of the four missile projects was the taking maximum time, nearly 15 years. And also, it had maximum fund allocation. So, the complex, because the missile was complex, the radar was complex, the ground system was complex, and the whole uh, ecosystem was complex because uh, of the... See, the thing is, because air defense, the target is an aircraft. And aircraft is uh, flying, maneuvering, and also it carries, uh, you know, electronic warfare, things like that. So, you have to catch, it like, you know, you uh, yeah, yeah, you, how do you hit a bird who is flying and maneuvering? You know, it's a very tough, tough job. So I was a little scared, but then it took 15 years. Uh, for 10 years, we were doing research and development. Last three years, we did testing. Then we asked the Army and Air Force to come for a flight testing. That's how it, it took place. Hmm. Uh, sir, what was the challenges? Everything was a challenge because one is, uh, you know, we were all young people. We were, most of us uh, are below 30, number one. Young power, youth power. Number two is uh, the, the Air Force and Army told it should be a multi-target handling surface to air missile system. That means the enemy will send uh, maybe four aircraft, six aircraft, eight aircraft. We should be able to annihilate all the eight simultaneously. So, that's a tall order. So, radar has to be customized, specially made. So, it should have a lot of beam agility. It's called beam agility. The electronic beam should be switching tuck, 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 left, right, up, down at a very, very fast speed so that you don't miss any target. Then uh, you should also pair. It's called match pair. That is the enemy aircraft and our missile should be matched. Which missile will go to which aircraft? That should be matched. So, that was why that is done because of the intelligence we have built in, in the, in the radar, in the command and control system and inside the missile. 
all three together are computed with hardware and software and it will ensure that you will, you will match the different target for different missiles simultaneously, accurately and reliably.